Can make your own samples? Yes, you can. Jeez. Thank you so much. I knew I forgot something. Watch this. I'm going to take a simple drum loop. Actually, you know what? I'm going to load a drum loop. I've already done it because I'm smart. I brought in that drum loop as a WAV file. The M3 will read WAV, AIF, Akai format, samples, and programs. So that means if you have an Akai S series sampler, you can just take the programs, not just the sounds, and load them into the M3, and it'll save all your filter settings, your envelope, all that good stuff. So, but this is just a simple wave file. Let's change the original key. Two different pitches. And um, I'm going to bring it back to C2. What I'm going to do is go to the loop edit screen. Here I can see the waveform right on the display, vibrant color. I can do all my cut, copy, paste, set my loop start points, and I can time slice and time stretch. So if I want to make the beat longer while maintaining the pitch or shorter, it does so with a choice of algorithms. Really good sound. Time slices, but I'm going to do that. And what that does is it immediately chops the beat up into individual segments. So they're all there. I can play them like that or I can play them on the pads. Record that right into the sequence, save it as a new sample, and it becomes your own. Only a couple of button pushes, and it was done. Compare that to how easy it really is in software. I know there are tons of software programs that do this extremely well, but to be able to do all this stuff in one unit that grows with you is a very, very powerful thing. Speaking of growing with you, there is an expansion to the M3 that we haven't spoken about, two of them. One of them is the sample RAM. We give you 64 megabytes worth of sample RAM out of the box, which, if you're sampling in mono, should give you roughly a half an hour's worth of sampling time. Um, you can upgrade that on the Cord website to 320 megabytes. And it's our own proprietary memory. You just pop it right in the back. So you max out your RAM for $99. Not a bad deal in this day and age. The other expansion is the radius. Unfortunately, I don't have it in this particular uh, uh, Stoll model, but are you familiar with the Radius modeling synthesizer? I'll show it to you right here. The Radius is one of the most powerful synthesizers ever. It was created with technology from the Oasis. You can play it right out there if you want. They've got one in stock. It is modular. It sounds amazing. It's got incredibly low aliasing oscillators. It just sounds unbelievably good. This entire synth is available as a card about that big that you pop into the underside of the M3. So you can edit all the radius parameters using the controls, using the touch screen. For what, what is that option cost? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yep. It has the yeah. sounds of the radius on it. It doesn't have the presets of the radius. The thing about the radius is it operates with four timbres at once, so four simultaneous sounds. Uh, with the radius expansion board, you can use one of them in program mode, and you can program up to four of them at once in combi mode. But we provide you with presets. For program. So you'll have one radius timbre going at a time with drum track, with karma, with all the controls pre programmed. So that also gives you the 16 band vocoder. There's a vocoder in here already, but uh, the, the radius 16 band vocoder is a, is a higher resolution, better sound. How big is the manual that comes with this thing? Everything that's in it. Well, there are two manuals. One of them is about gay big, and one of them comes on a PDF file and thus I don't have to divulge how fat it is. <laughs> the, uh, the manual for, here, see what he's got right there? It's about as big as that one. That's the parameter guide. And that's the one you rarely have to dig into. For day-to-day -day operations of the M3, uh, the basic guide covers, you know, all, all the different uh, uh, procedures of recording and sampling. If you want an explanation detailed of every single menu option and every single karma parameter, that's when you dig into the Bible. So, um, the last thing we should talk about is the hardware itself. I mentioned that you can buy this module on its own. It's too big to fit in a rack, and that's on purpose. We didn't want to just sacrifice the usability of the instrument just so it would fit in a road case. So with that in mind, you can buy this as a desktop module. It has rubber feet on the back. Now what you're looking at here 
is the 61 key version. This is the smallest size keyboard. Can you that here? Thank you, sir. The great thing about this keyboard that should make you want it in and of itself is this. No, uh, no vibrato, little vibrato, a lot of vibrato. The aftertouch is pressure sensitive. And you just don't see that on keyboards nowadays. So I am very glad that we brought that back. This is our brand new action. It is a glorious feeling keyboard. It's easily the best action we've ever created. For a, for a lightweight keyboard action. We also produce it in a 73 size keyboard, 73 keys from C to C. And uh, with that model, you can tilt the module up and down or remove it completely, the same as you can on the 61 key. Or you can slide it left or right and mount a physical radius module right next to it in the same yeah. keyboard chassis. So the keyboard will control both modules at once. You'll have access to all the knobs and the effects and the four timbres at once. It's monstrous. Yeah. Uh, now, the 88 key takes that a step further. You can do one M3 module or one radius module, a combination of M3 and radius, or two M3s in the same keyboard. It's ridiculous. <laughs> there's, there's no other way to describe it. You've got dueling chaos pads, 16 pads to play with, uh, you know. 32 part copies, 32 track sequences. Will they recognize each other and work in tandem? They'll work via MIDI. There's no, there, there isn't a proprietary cable to link them, but they, they play nice at MIDI. During the NAMM show, I had one hooked up uh, uh, in tandem to the one I was, I was playing with, and they behave very well together, no issues whatsoever. So, that's why this is the next generation forward. This has, this has so much stuff that has never been done on a keyboard before and so much stuff that has only been available on the highest end keyboard that money can buy. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. Any, uh, any, any final questions or thoughts? Anything we should improve on? Uh, we're, we're open to suggestion. We're always listening to our customers. Anything you want to see here? I didn't think so. It's perfect. <laughs> All right.